Dear Dynacom family, welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about another issue that we have been recently facing at various ports and terminals around the world. It has been observed that due to some very minor leakages and defects in vessels' mooring systems, our vessels have been considerably delayed. This not only causes bad reputation, but this causes monetary losses as well. Mooring system of a vessel are the backbone for the vessel's safe stay at any port or terminal. Any minor leakage to or doubtful appearance of a mooring system is a viable ground for any port or terminal to not part the vessel until all the issues are properly rectified. Considering all of this, there are preventive measures that we can take in order to avoid any undue hassle, in order to avoid any delays at terminal or berth, or to avoid any monetary losses. In this regard, we strongly recommend to start and check all of your system when your vessel is in ballast voyage and going to a load port. The underside of the motors and the underside of the seals is particular area that you might need to check in order to find if there is any minor leakage. Because remember, we are dealing with the hydraulic oil and any minor leakage will cause hydraulic oil to leak and gravity will naturally pull it down. In most of the cases, the majority of these leakages can be easily detected and rectified on board. But in case you need those kind of spares which are not already on board, you can easily raise a spare case and you can receive it at a convenient port when your vessel is going to a load port. For example, if your vessel is going to Middle East, then a convenient port for receiving all these kind of stores and spares would be Fujara. So we would strongly recommend and suggest that you conduct all of these tests and checks while you are en route to Fujara so that when you raise a spare requisition or a supply requisition, you can receive it at Fujara. If your vessel is aged and a little old, then we strongly suggest and recommend to keep a few things as spares on board. You can send a message to your ops department and supply department when you raise this requisition so that all of these items of this requisition will be supplied to you. Now, what all the items are we talking about? First of all, we would strongly suggest and recommend to keep some hydraulic lines with you. At least a few meters of it. This kind of hydraulic line that you'll have on board with you will help you in case you need it in any sort of emergency or during the routine maintenance. If you have some heavily rusted pipes and U-bolts, it is preferable to change them in advance, especially if you have a long voyage. And you should not wait until a leak occurs during a mooring operations in a port. Talking of rust on hydraulic pipes, please remember that thickness of a hydraulic pipe is much thicker than the normal pipes. So do not hesitate to chip and brush them because they are thicker than the normal pipes and they will not easily leak. However, before removing the old pipes, please ensure that you have the pipes, flanges, bolts and experienced fitters on board before starting the preventive replacement. Because remember, on the old vessels, the unexpected can happen at any time. So you have to be prepared for it in case you need it. And as you'd be already asking for the pipeline, so don't forget to ask for the spare nuts and bolts. Because in case of an emergency or when you might need to change the line, the bolts might be rusted or old and you might need to cut them. So obviously, you'll need new nuts and bolts when you'd be replacing the line. So don't forget to order them. Furthermore, most of the hydraulic flanges on board your vessel will be either having some sort of packing material or the O-rings. Usually on board our vessels, we have a lot of O-rings on board. But in case your hydraulic line contains the O-rings which are not of an ordinary type or there are some specific type of O-rings, don't forget to order them in advance. Keep a handful of that packing material or O-rings with you. These were a few of the handful things that we could think of that could help you in case of any emergency. In case your mooring system is different or there is something typical that you may require for your mooring system, don't hesitate or forget to ask it. Raise the supply requisition or the spare requisition as deemed necessary and talk to your operations department and supply department or the spares department to make its positive delivery on the vessel possible. We hope that today's video was helpful and it may help you in the future endeavor at seas. With a wish for smooth seas and tailwinds, it's goodbye for now.